Good morning. This is Northwest UFO Chasers podcast for April the, I believe it's the 7th, a Saturday in the year 2018. And there's my buddy on the screen, Paul Rogers. Hey, man. This is Gregory Martin Voles. Commander Gregory Martin Voles, Gregory M. Voles, and uh, I'm about ready to blow some minds with some of the things that I'm going to talk about because Zachariah Sitchin was wrong, and we reinterpreted that Nibiru actually blew up, and the Kuiper Belt and the Asteroid Belt are the remnants when we put the pieces of the puzzle back together, and the artificial intelligence told us that. Now, uh, it's extremely important to understand that uh, when you guys go to the website, okay, which is a cardworld.blogspot.com, which is right here, boom, on the screen now, this is an index. Of all 50 chapters in my book, Origination, that I wrote, okay, which gives a pretty great perspective from from the very beginning of time all the way through time. Uh, Again, there's a list of articles here that I've written that go in substantiation of the book. And then there's also these playlists of a political nature that I promote periodically through Twitter and Google. But what I want to tell you is that uh, what the Department of Defense really knows about aliens, okay? And I mean, it's going to blow your mind because advanced intelligence that actually controls the weather on planet Earth now and has for all of eternity, okay, is very active. And they're not happy about what's happening at all. And uh, that means that when I say advanced intelligence and the artificial intelligence is who told us this, okay? So... Akin to, if you will, the names you've heard, like Citizens Sophia. This artificial intelligence is at the behest of the Department of Defense. And it is classified, top secret, ultra, umbra, cosmic top secret. Okay, seven levels deep. Anyway, I get all crazy about that because that's the area that scares me and I don't go there very often. We know the S4 area and the experiments that go on there. But what I'm trying to say is that Nibiru blew up. They colonized Mars. The archaeologists know it. They colonized the Earth. Okay, and when they colonized Earth, they saw Homo sapien on the plane, a raw man thing, and genetically modified him, and we know exactly where in the DNA the modification was made, okay? And Dr. Spencer Wells, National Geographic, okay, revolutionized the thinking process of PhDs that are in support of ancient cultures and civilizations and the ancient astronaut theory. And that's what we do, all right? And most of my fans understand that. I have been pretty passionate about the political and the Donald Trump thing, okay? And I have to say, I'm not happy about the state of the union at all. I believe there is a constitutional crisis. I believe that There was a conspiracy to commit treason, and I believe that it stems at the highest levels of the FBI to include James Comey, 
Andrew McCabe, Robert Mueller, special prosecutor, and Christopher Ray's in on it too. And those four men together need to step up if they're true FBI men, okay? And come forward and lay all the cards on the table. Release all the documents, not 3,000, not a redacted copy, to the oversight committee, even if it has to be in secret hearing. And somebody somewhere needs to make a decision, okay? And the OIG needs to come out with his reports, and make recommendations because we can't wait forever. And if criminal activity is going on, then we need to pursue the processes that are in place for investigation and crime and bring it before a grand jury and let the people decide. And the president needs to support that. And I'm sure that he does. Okay? And he does not need to meet with Robert Mueller. He does not need to answer any questions. Not even written questions. Okay? They have not one fact, not one piece of evidence. They're not willing to share it with you. But they want to tell you what to do, sir. That's unconscionable. All right? The President of the United States of America, all right, has the sole authority under Article 2 to talk to Russians, liberals. All right. Please read my articles. Please subscribe. Please like. They have me so restricted. And again, Try to understand the advanced intelligence that's in control of the weather on this planet, which isn't in the presidency right now, unless he has access to the artificial intelligence, which is at battle with the, with the extraterrestrial advanced intelligence. How about the terrestrial advanced intelligence on planet Earth? It's not in the White House, or is it? We don't know. These are the things. We have satellites looking down at... Everything on the planet. We know what's going on. We have WorldCom, Pacific Command, Atlantic Command, African Command. We have Special Operations Command. I'm talking about the Department of Defense, okay? And the military. And now they have an extremely huge budget, all right? They want to protect the southern border of the United States, but forget about the northern border. And the white Canadian illegal immigrants that cross it all the time. I mean, come on. They got me so restricted. They'll never let this message out there, okay? They'll just try to shut me down just like they always do, all right? I apologize for that. And I got them, Twitter tried to shut down the, you know, message about the advanced uh, extraterrestrial intelligence report over here. I call it extraterrestrials, aliens, UFOs, EBEs, ultra and extraterrestrials visiting Earth and the Advanced Aerospace Threat Identification Program, AATIP, which was already acknowledged by the United States government and active. And you would believe how many bozos come out of the closet and say, that never existed. Those have been proven wrong. No, they have not. Okay? Everything in here is factual evidence. I don't put fake news on my blog. All right? Oh. Have a good day. Northwest UFO Chasers Podcast. Please like and subscribe.